Hi, Matt with LFD Research. Today we're going to do just a little quickie that's going to be fun. I have a 556, well, it's actually 223 Wild chambered AR here, means it can shoot 556 and 223 out of the same gun safely and be actually reasonably accurate. I have three rounds loaded up at this magazine. First one is going to be a 62 grain green tip 556, 855 ball as the military designation. Then we have the standard XM193 55 grain 556. And lastly, we have a 40 grain 223, which is pushing over 3,400 feet per second, possibly as high as 3,800 feet per second. We have three bottles of water down range, completely filled. And we're going to see how the hydraulic pressure affects this when we shoot it. So let's lock and load. Now, it may look like I missed that center target, but I can see from here it's actually draining water. So the 55 grain went through it. I might have nicked the side of it, but as you notice, the 62 and the 40 grain killed their respective bottles. Now you can see we're downrange here. So this is the first bottle, the 62 grain. As you can see, it got blown over. We have in front this tiny little hole, nice big old rip for the exit. And it pretty much stayed in the same place and fell over. Here is the 55 grain. Now, we actually did hit it straight through. Shot in here, tiny little crack out the bottom. So the 55 grain did not do as much as the 62 or near what the 40 did. See, right here was the line. So the 40 grain was right here. Blew the bottle all the way back here and that is the back of the bottle. Ridiculous. Completely exploded. That's the entrance hole. <laughs> now, that's why this is a varmint round. And it's really impressive. So yeah, 40 grinders, fun.